Hey guys, it's your boy Bears, and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Liverpool Carmo where last summer Stoff I defeated Manchester City in the quarterfinal of the Capital One Cup and I picked up a he he league win against Newcastle. Oh, in this so I will play the last three games before the January transfer window opens and we can do some cheeky deals. Let's Let's get in. First game is at the Liberty against the Swans, Swansea, who recently in real life sacked Gary Monk. That's exactly what I told you not to do, Swans. You didn't feckin' listen, you idiots. Seriously, I don't understand. Why did they sack Gary Monk? Yeah, the results weren't going great, but you know, Swansea... It could be a lot worse for Swansea. I mean, they're not in any particular danger or relegation right now. I, I do not understand it. I really don't. I would have given Gary Monk plenty of time. I think Gary Monk should still be Swansea manager. I think he if gotten... I don't think... I don't think Swansea are going to go down this season. And there are much worse teams who are, are are in much more danger of the relegation zone than Swansea. I mean, Villa are bottom with six goddamn points. There's teams like Sun and Bournemouth and Newcastle who, if they don't get the right results, won't trouble Swansea. And then there's Chelsea. Who may go down? I don't see why Swansea. He were so rash. I mean, this this is probably the, the uh the most unusual sacking in the Premier League history. I mean. You know, you'd understand if Swansea were bottom of the table with, like, no points. And, I mean, Villa sacked Sherwood because they're playing bad. And because they hadn't gotten the amount of They are in a position that Villa don't want to be in. Well, that no team wants to be in. No team wants to be at bottom of the fucking table. Although, Chelsea might. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Mourinho wants to break. The record, or for, or going from hmm, the second best to the worst. But I digress. Lovely goal there by Danny Ings, by the way. But I just don't understand it. I really don't. I cannot understand why Gary Monk was sacked. But Swansea, they shouldn't be. They shouldn't have too much problems. The uh, the talk is either Brendan Rodgers may return or they might get David Moyes. Which, both options would be really good for Swansea. While I hate Brendan Rodgers because he's a fucking asshole who doesn't know what to do with a big club. Swan see, he did very well with it. And, and I can see if he comes back to Swansea, I can definitely see him. Keeping them mm, mm, solid Premier League club for um, for many more years. There's um, and maybe he'll will 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 spend all of Swansea's money on crappy players and or maybe he'll will do that. Maybe he'll spend all of Swansea's money on crappy players. There's who will just make. Them play bad, and then he'll get sacked, act, and we'll all laugh. And then there's David Moyes, who, who, this would actually be a really good job for Moyes. He's it would help him replenish his his um his stature in in the um in the game. Because everyone, and except Liverpool fans, because 
fuck that guy. Respected in Moyes because of his long tenure at a uh, at uh, Everton. He was Everton manager for a period. It he he never had too much trouble with them. You know they they were never relegated. They were never even threatened with relegation. And then, you know, if, if Moyes can repeat what he did with Everton with Swansea, Swansea will take that any day of the week. He can, any Swansea fan, and if you look at whatever, and if you offer that to Swansea, you under, especially if Moyes gets as many years with Swansea as he did with Everton, Swansea fans will happily take that. Oh, he qualified for the Europa League one year. And while Swans, he he had been in the Europa League before when they won the uh, when they won the Cup of One Cup. Uh, Moyes will be he much more her suited to doing well in the Europa League. You know, and uh, can we be seen that he'd. He'd do very well with them. So either way is a good choice, but I, th I personally would have given Gary Monk the benefit of the doubt. I would have definitely kept him on. Uh, I think it was a bit of a bit rash and kind of stupid move from the from the board at a uh, at Swansea. But obviously, they felt like maybe they felt like. Eek right, we give him Gary Monk enough time. He's not doing what we he see he is right for this club. And he has to go, we have to get someone new in. Or someone old if it's Brendan Rogers because he was there before. Thank you very much, Alan. And you know Obviously he this is this is going to be a bit of a a building time now for Swansea. You know, after you get a new manager, or, or the fans, sometimes the fans have to take a while to get used to the new manager, unless it's unless the change was something the fans demanded. But as far as I could tell, well, Swan, he fans love Gary Monk. I mean, he played for Swansea. For most of his career, here I mean, this is this is completely unusual. If you ask me, I I I still don't understand that. I think it was a rash, rushed decision. Too soon. I mean, you know, you're not in any danger of getting relegated. Probably won't get re. He get it unless you bring in a manager who. Who turned Swansea into the worst team in the league? Which you'd have to go a far bit to get there. Or I mean, there's Chelsea in your way there. But yeah, I mean, I I don't understand it. Any Swansea fans who uh, watch this video, can you please let me know what what is your opinion? Did were was the team, was your uh, board right to sack Gary Monk? Or do you think he should have been given more time? I think Gary Monk would have definitely he been a very good manager for Swansea for years. Just come. And, you know, everyone was praising Monk last season. Because it was his first year in charge. And he did such wonderful. Well, he was so good for Swansea. Either, from what I got, her, her everyone had huge respect for Gary Monk. You know, taking on his first ever job. Uh, uh, most footballers don't immediately get into the hang of of the uh, of the of the job. You know. So well, you know. Correct to Gary Monk. He'll be fine. He'll get a new job. No problem. 
and he'll do very well there just as long as he's given the time and he's not uh, forced out oh, 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 out of nowhere by the board so uh that's my thoughts on um the unusual sack I'm going to put it down as of Gary Monk by Swansea Like, I mean, there's sackings that are deserved, like Brendan Rodgers from Liverpool. And then there's sackings you just don't understand, like Gary Monk's. I mean, like, if Jose Mourinho was sacked, no one would bat an eye at it. Everyone would say, oh, Chelsea are terrible this season. Of course Mourinho was sacked. How Mourinho didn't, hasn't been sacked yet is probably because of his... Is probably purely because of... The fact that he's Mourinho, he's probably been given an extra bit of a chance. But, you know, any other manager, I mean, like, if Gary Monk was Chelsea, a journey, he was still having the same. If they were still struggling, and, then it, and you could understand it, but I, I, I don't understand. And I, I don't think I will understand the the sacking. It's, it's, it's not particularly... It's one of those, isn't it? It's one of those that you just don't understand. In any event, two quick goals from Matt Tillemans makes this a nice 3 0 went away from home the brace from Tillman's adding to the Ings goal in the first half and yeah yeah that gives me three points Nurk win Chelsea and Arsenal both win, so I don't get any points on them, unfortunately. He, United did drop two points there against Leicester. Hurt did see that. Yes, I am keen eyed. You can't hide anything from me again. Some uh, training, maybe. Come on out. Yes, he did. I was just about to say he'll probably he'll go up to 76, and he did. That was excellently timed. Hmm. Ooh, an offer to manage Belgium. Well, that is tempting. I am not interested in managing any international team, even if it is Belgium. And I will uh, be turning that down. Just before the uh, game against... Sheffield Wednesday. The first team will be playing this match and the second match. The reason they didn't play against Swansea was to both these matches with Swansea are down in 14th. And well, you guys know Watford are 14th. That's who I have next. Sheffield Wednesday aren't doing too bad either. I think it said they were down to seventh, but you know, seventh, not not a position to take lightly. He's so, not that I'm saying I was taking Swansea lightly. I was just, you know, I didn't want my players to be absolutely wrecked. And you know, playing my uh, secondary team is something I do in every career mode when it comes to the Christmas period. Swansea just happened to be he lowered in the table. Well, so they were the best choice piece. It sounds like I'm really saying that. I was, uh, it almost sounds like I'm trying to say, yeah, I was 
is underestimating them, which I swear I wasn't. Ooh, after a very error-filled little calamity there at the back, like I got away with. It's out for a corner again. Mm, very nice work, Daniel Surge. How many may only may be playing his second last game for us? Depending on when he is sold in the transfer window. Like I mentioned in the last episode, he handed in a transfer request. There's a Coutinho, top goal scorer. And he, uh, he tried to go for the header. Probably would have been better if it wasn't Coutinho. I mean, not, not exactly the uh, tallest player on the pitch is Philip. He only scored a few headers this season. Sturge. Ooh. Imagine if that was a goal. Well, that would have been awesome. Although, poor shot, if I'm being honest. Bail. Go on, Gareth. Hold on. Looks it. So for another corner. Coming to bail. Did that take a deflection? I think it did. It may have. Let's see here. Oh, no, it didn't. It's a goal kick. Player was close, probably why. I, or it may have been just, you know, me hoping. <laughs> That could be a two. <laughs> Coutinho. Pass to Sturge. Probably would have been offside, to be honest. I don't get that lucky. <laughs> so, uh, not a foul? Okay. Well, I'd uh, be charged to have fouled the... Sheffield Wednesday defender there, but no. Oh! Correa, that powering header, or off the crossbar. Er? Er? Bell. Oh. In for Royce. Somehow come to him. Hmm. Turn. Back to Rodriguez. To Henderson. Sturge is asking for it. Sturge will shoot. Continue. Ah, oh, it's cleared. Stop now. There's May for Sheffield Wednesday. The lead. He, I went back. back. Sturge. Edge. Bury it. Yes, Daniel. Oh, with his 12th of the sea. He's in. Daniel Sturge breaks the deadlock. Simple as you like, really. Yeah, typical Daniel Sturridge goal. Oh, oh, with the ever here so. Oh, oh, oh. so fragrance of his brilliance. Oh, his 14th. Hang on, I thought Continuo only had. No, wait, he had six. He has 16. Uh, it must have been Sturridge I was thinking of who had 13. I thought he only had 11. I'm getting them all confused. A quick fire double here. Continue. Correa. Yes. Sturridge to continue. You know, well, bail to Sturridge to continue to Correa to go. <laughs> and Correa scores his 11th of the season. 
Just like that for the Uh, Correa is level now with Diego Costa, unless he scores in Chelsea's game. I don't know who Chelsea are playing. I didn't actually look. Which is bad of me. I should have. Although, he didn't score against, uh, I know he didn't score against Middlesbrough because it would have shown it down there in the corner. Let's see. Chelsea are not playing. Brilliant. They're obviously playing tomorrow. The referee blows and we started the second half here at Anfield. Arsenal were playing though when they were winning. So Arsenal will go temporarily back to second place until Chelsea play. It's a Fine by me, uh, they'll still be uh, 19 points behind me. It's uh, Tommy Correa is the person to watch now. Gets your attention when he scores a goal, doesn't it? Oh, he might score again. One lone defender between him and the goal, but he's giving it to Coutinho. Who oh, scores? There's the Brazilian magician just has that touch of magic. And that's why we call him the Brazilian magician. Correa. It was an easy he, he shot. But, but, you know, you have to have the eye for the goal to put it in. Because, you know... If you're someone like Mario Balotelli or Christian Benteke or Fernando Torres, you're going to miss something like that. But Coutinho at the eye of the goal, and he put it in. And blinding the goal. I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore, to be honest. I'm just randomly talking about whatever comes to mind. Not at this point. The away team wants to make a change. And back it goes to the goalkeeper. Sturridge. Henderson. Lovely ball to Royce. Back to Henderson. Sturge. Sturge shoots. Camp blocks. The fourth day. Oh, Price with a fantastic save. He's. If to deny four nil. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Correa, Bale. Bale. Good uh, defensive work there from that uh, the Sheffield Wednesday's defender. Vest something or something like that. Time it's Lee who gets it away. Sorry, Camp. I was looking at someone else. And since we're they're not taking a chance, Sturridge. Oh, they may have had to take a chance at the brace for Daniel Sturridge, and it's four nil. Oh, oh, the throw in from Rodriguez. The Beautiful cross from the German man himself, Marco Royce, and it's a go, another goal for Daniel Sturridge. 
Riding away, baby. Riding away. 15 goals. The number. You know what? This brings good luck. <laughs> but, uh, I think it's safe to... S it's, uh, safe to assume he won't be catching Coutinho. Oh, in terms of top goal scorers, unfortunately. I think I, uh, fouled there with Royce. Yeah, I did. Am I going to be booked? Referee is running over. It's not telling me Royce was booked. Was he booked? No. If he was, I'd like to know. No, nope, he wasn't. Hey! Search for the hat trick! Yes! <laughs> Ricardo Rodriguez made an absolute nuisance of himself. The keeper makes an error. And Daniel Sturridge is taking the match ball home. The keeper, or with no, no reflexes whatsoever. He didn't. He, he just stood there. Or you think he would have bolted back to the goal? I mean, yeah, at least tried to stop. Daniel Sturridge confirmed completing his hat trick, but no, he just stood there. Or that is, um. Yeah. How did they get seventh? You know. Or am I the only team they seem to make mistakes again? Look at this. Korea, after winning the ball from camp, may cause another goal. Coutinho, he does. It's 6 0. Brace for Coutinho now. Oh, oh, the defense is falling apart. And Price dived the completely wrong way. There's the full time whistle. Oh, a comfortable 6 0 win in for us. No three points. Daniel Sturridge is going in search of the match ball. I think it went over your head there. Or the final whistle there, Daniel. Oh. oh, there he goes. There he is. He got it. <laughs> Not sure how the referee got it before Daniel did, but. Uh, that's the material. 9.8, very nice. 6 0 win. Arsenal did win. Man United won. And uh, Chelsea, like I stated earlier, didn't play. Or they did. Because reasons. Man City lost to Millsborough. Right. They are bottom of the table. And uh, Chelsea were playing QPR. Like how it didn't bother to tell me that. Dude, I'm selling you. You can piss off. Coutinho is telling me he's not up for this match. It's no problem. I'll play uh, D-Demands. Give him a break. Uh Try strike force. I haven't tried yet. Not play Daniel Surge. It's and he can go out on a hat trick. He Unless I bring him on in the second half, but you know that won't be necessary. It shouldn't be necessary anyway. He should have no problem being third third with the team I am going to put out. There's. The man's gonna play. Oh, Arsenal and Chelsea are playing each other. Hell yeah! Freaking. <laughs> yes, please take points off each other. 
her and I will reap the benefits. It's profit. It's perfectly timed. I did not even know that they were playing each other. Our one will drop three points, or they might both drop two. Oh, if they both draw the, you know, if they drew, so here we go. the point gap would be, is going to get even higher. Like, it's already 17 points to Chelsea. Yeah. It's probably going to go up to 19. Because, you know, or I'm or I'm gonna gain three points on one of them. I'm gonna have to beat Watford first, and that's not gonna be easy, especially when they're fourth. So actually, all four teams in the top four are playing one another. I'm playing fourth, and second and third are are battling it out. Just bail. Somehow that got true. Oh, put it in. To the man's. I, what? What? How did that not end up in the back of the net? Come on. And guys, it's feck's sake. Royce. Hit it. And bail didn't get there. Choice for the kick out. John Henderson. Ooh. Of course, there's a freaking foul that given there. Quick free kick. Her. Doesn't matter though. What team has won the ball back? Origi. Yo, get the ball in the box. Henderson. Yes, Jordan Henderson, third goal of the season, and perfectly timed, and from the captain himself. It in Henderson blasted it into the back and that didn't give the Watford keeper much of a chance. Actually, didn't give him any chance whatsoever. Just that. That's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. Oh crap, I'm gonna get a copyright strike for that. Shit. Demons are. Oh. Rodriguez made an impact on the last game against Sheffield State. Made himself a big, huge nuisance for the uh, Sheffield Wednesday keeper. Whoa, freaking! Heck. It was almost another keeper for there. The keeper, for while trying to control it to hit back out, he almost ended up putting it in the back of his own net. Which would have been freaking hilarious, by the way. Not sure why I went for the shot there with a with a D block. But I did. And I instantly regret it. Korea. Uh, the hell? I told you to pass it. Uh, why did he 
pass it forward, not to the side. Race to the man's foul. I could have taken that fast, but I'm going to try. Okay. This is a decent area. I had to hit and see what happens. Not what I had in mind, Gareth. Not really what I had in mind. Just thinking, you know, over the wall into the net. Not a terrible free kick. Right, obviously, that's what I need to do when they, uh, when they take their... And then next they have a goal kick, I know what to do. I just... To send my player to block the pass from the keeper to the wing back because that seems to be what they do from all kickouts. Chelsea are winning it against yeah, Arsenal, so right now it's Arsenal who are dropping three points. And the gap between me and Chelsea would still be 17 points. But Arsenal would find themselves even further behind me. Twenty-two points to be exact. Origi two nil. Oh. 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 The power of the legends. It's the first con touch, which would almost seem like he fucked up, but in the end, it was the first touch that allowed him to the oh because the defender was asleep. And, uh, the man who was top goal scorer last season is off the mark in this year's Premier League in what is, I think, the 18th or 19th game. <laughs> so, uh, there. And now he's committed a foul. Copy them a bit. Here's the port thing to the short kick out. Correa. Rigi arrived way too late. Not sure why he didn't make an earlier run, but hindsight is 20 20, I guess. Correa! Ooh! On the air. Her. Which is. Don't name. Klein. What? I got the ball. I didn't do anything. In there. Daniel Klein. Really punished for a weak foul, if there even was a foul. Two hands. The, I, I told him to chip the keeper and he didn't. He went for the pass. Now they're on the counter attack. Here's the cross. 
No. Good, safe, defensive header from Varane. I mean, I mean, crap, I made the same mistake as the, as a Sheffield Wednesday did in the last game, but it, I was quick to act. And Laporte clears it again. Laporte. The pass to Correa. Torrigi. What? How the hell did that miss him? And Vrain. Klein. Good pass for Tim and to be through. Boom! Tim and scores. After he bagged a brace against she uh, Swansea, sorry. He, he back. He's another go. Well, well, against this. Against Watford this time. Third goal of the season. No, fourth goal. Oh, wait. He scored the... Huh? Wait, did he score a hat-trick against Wednesday? He, I didn't make any subs against uh, Sheffield Wednesday. He must have scored in a previous game or something. I would have been absolutely fuming if that had gone in somehow. Anderson will get rid of that. Rigi. Bell. Crea. Crea! Can't I take the goal? <laughs> Although the keeper probably would have actually tried to make a save if had I not been fouled. Try this again, Royce. Nope. <laughs> that just doesn't want to work. 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 I don't know why he, it's being hit on the ground. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The three 0 win will be safe. Safe. Three. You. You rigi. He tell him. And send John Hennis in bag and the goals. Was. And now the question is, what was the score between Arsenal and Chelsea? Did I gain two points on them both, or did Chelsea win? Chelsea won two one. Well, uh, still seventeen points to Chelsea. Unfortunately, it's not increased. And uh, dude, your squad, your future first team player. What? What? What honestly? He were you expecting something different? Cause I d I don't understand why you would be expecting something different. Put Sturge back into the uh, main squad. So that is the. End of this episode. In the next episode, it looks like I have a FA Cup game against Milton Keynes Dons, and I think I have a Merseyside Derby. Yes, I do. So that should be interesting. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all.